Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome National Director Marty Hale. Welcome to Momentous. You know, it's not every day that you get to see an opportunity like what you're going to see tonight. Am I right? Am I right? You know, there's an ancient proverb that says, as a human being, every human being that's ever been created will not be given an opportunity unless they've already been given the ability to accomplish it. You believe it? Good, because guess what that means? That means when you have opportunity, meet ability, it creates responsibility, right? So if you're here for the first time tonight, welcome to the group. You guys, I got to tell you something. Every single time in the history of the United States of America that a deregulation occurs in a major industry, a phenomenon, an incredible opportunity is born. You might recall in the early 70s when the airline industry deregulated. You remember that? Don't say yes to that question. But you remember what happened. Several things happened. All of a sudden, consumers had a choice. Prices dropped. It no longer cost $3,000 to fly from Dallas to LA and back. It became $300 or $149. And so folks started going to New York to go Christmas shopping or to Chicago to eat dinner and back the same day. The world got smaller. And all of a sudden you've got uh, companies like Continental, Delta, American, Southwest, JetBlue, Frontier, all these options to choose from. But here's one thing that happened. The one thing that gets me excited is that fortunes were made. Go ahead. It's okay. It was like wealth transferred from one group of people, from one set of hands to another completely different group of people that some of them didn't have a clue what it meant to be in the airlines industry, but they were at the right place when deregulation occurred. How many of you would like to have been one of the first few hundred, the first few thousand with Southwest Airlines? You want to say yes to that question, right? Or you might recall in the early 1980s when the telecom industry deregulated. You know, originally it was Bell, and then it got broken down to the Baby Bells, and then to GTE, and then MCI, Sprint, WorldCom, Verizon. All these companies started. They took advantage of that deregulation. And again, an opportunity was created. Sure, consumers had choice. Sure, prices dropped, you could call around the world. And today we can talk face to face, right? With iChat and, and all these different devices for as long as we want and not be concerned about prices. But what else happened? Fortunes were made, right? Literally wealth transferred hands again. What if you could have been just like in the airlines industry, what if you could have been one of the first few hundred or first few thousand with Sprint or one of the larger telecom companies? Folks, guess what? Write this down. Write this down. Tonight, we're here to talk about the largest deregulation in the history of this great country, the deregulation of energy. And because we're here, guess what? It's our time, right? It's our place. It's our opportunity. It's your opportunity. 
And you know what? It's, it's not an opportunity with some small startup or some company that just had a great, some guys that had a good idea, a bunch of buddies. No. What does all this mean for us? How do we take advantage? Here's how. One of the largest retail energy providers in North America called Just Energy that did over $3 billion in revenue last year. It's publicly traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange. It's got the largest footprint in North America. We're not just in a state here or a state there. And we provide both residential and commercial energy. How do you like that? With over 1.8 million customers, you think we know how to service our customers? Absolutely. So what does all this mean for us? What's it mean for you? There you go. It means that we are in the right place at the right time. Did you hear that? The right place at the right time. You know, here's the deal that I got to tell you, as excited as I am about energy, what gets me more excited is the wisdom, the depth and the breadth of the knowledge, the vision, the foresight of the founders and the executive management of this company that they realized early on that not every state in the union is deregulated. Some of them aren't there yet. So what they decided was, let's be an essential home service company. Let's add additional services like momentous television and momentous 4G internet service. Why would they do something like that? Because can you imagine what will happen if we have millions of customers in all those non-deregulated states the day that they go deregulated? We're talking about unconscious buying habits. We're talking about services that are already in every single household budget in this country, in North America. I mean, we don't have to educate why somebody needs electricity or how to take the remote and change the channel, do we, fellas? Or women surf the internet, right? Not only that, they're recession-proof services. Think about it. You know, we've been in a recession the last few years, and most families have cut back a little. But do you know anyone that said, hey, sweetie, you know, I think we ought to, do a li you know, we ought to save a little more and spend a little less. Why don't we just cut the electric off? No, man. We have to have it. Why do we have to have it? One word. It is what? Essential services, right? I'm going to tell you a quick story. My first customer, my first electric customer was my father. He's 83 years old. He lives in central Texas. And when I asked him if he'd be my customer, of course he said yes. And I said, well, who are you currently on? And he told me the company that, he'd, that he was on, and I looked at the bill, and I said, well, how long have you been on this company as a customer? And of course, in his very dry, sarcastic, uh, country boy humor, he began to count. One, two, three, four, five. When he got to 83, I realized what he was doing. He said, well, I'm 83 years old, so I guess that would be about 83 years. What do you mean, how long have I been on this company? But what he was saying to me, he had no idea what he was telling me. Do you know what he was telling me? Hello? You see, we don't need a customer for 83 years. Man, I would just take 50. All right, I'd take five. We're talking true residual recession-proof income. And when the executive management decided to partner with other companies to provide these essential home services, they didn't just go out and get just any company to partner with. They went out and got the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the elite. 
They got DirecTV, who's won every J.D. Power & Associates Award that you can possibly fathom. Over 250 of all digital channels. It's got probably the best picture and the best sound quality of any system out there. And they did that for us so that we could have the best. When they decided to go find an internet solution provider, they realized what was happening in the, in the country, in North America, that we are mobile people today. That we don't stay anywhere, kind of like me on this stage tonight. We constantly move, right? And so they didn't just get a wireline company, they got the best, the fastest wireless broadband internet company in America, clear 4G wireless. Because they wanted to provide us the best possible services and solutions that they could. So here's what I want you to think about. We have a parent company that recently launched an unprecedented opportunity with Momentus. And that company, currently today, Just Energy, is licensed and providing services to those 1.8 million customers in every single state and province that you see on your screen. What does that mean for us? Hello? You know it, right? On all the light blue elevated states and provinces, that is where Momentus currently offers electric and gas, residential or commercial, today. But guess what? It doesn't stop there. Because over the next 30, 60, 90 days, maybe even tomorrow, some of those are going to roll out. And we're going to open some of those other states. But in addition to that, don't forget, don't forget if you live in Oklahoma, God bless you, I'm from Texas. <laughs> Hook them horns. Hey, guys, think about it. We have networks all over North America. And we have services that cover all over North America. So if you live in a non-deregulated state or a non-deregulated area, so what? We're not like the other companies that don't have a service there. You can immediately begin to acquire customers and build out your network. So I've enjoyed spending a few minutes with you here this evening. I want to briefly introduce our next speaker. He doesn't need an introduction because you all know him. He's one of the funniest, most inspiring, hilarious individuals you're ever going to meet. They made me go first because he makes me look bad. He's one of the top income producers in this company, one of the best there is, my good friend, National Director Antoine McBay.